I was okay until we got to the police station. We started hearing reports like, you know, when he, we found out he was, he committed suicide, that was really mixed feelings, you know, kind of, you know, good, but then, you know, it's really bad. We never know why, you know, what was really a matter with him. And then on the way home to, to, some, to the friend's apartment, um, we heard that another guy had been shot. And that's when all of a sudden I got really weak kneed and really, because he had the gun pointed at me. And just like when I called my father, he, and he, you know, I told him about that. And my father kept saying, why didn't he shoot you? Why didn't he shoot you? And I don't know why. He shot someone else. Obviously, he's capable of killing. And why he didn't shoot me, I don't know. And that's what's, it's the ifs that are scary right now. It's all the I have on camera. Let me hang on for one second. We need what's called a being held behind these closed doors. Three members of the Rajneesh Medical Corporation. Okay, sorry. I'll get it this time, I promise. If I don't, you can shoot me. I'm, I'm, I am, as a matter of fact. Go ahead. Okay. <clears throat> a meeting of the Oregon Psychiatric Association is being held behind these closed doors. Three members of the Rajneesh Medical Corporation have been invited to the meeting to discuss the possibility of... I'm glad that was you that time. Yeah. Okay, ready? <clears throat> A meeting of the Oregon Psychiatric Association is being held behind these closed doors. Three members of the Rajneesh Medical Corporation have been invited to the meeting to discuss the possibility of a visit to Rajneesh Puram by some Oregon psychiatrists to check on the well-being of the homeless people. What, what, and then, uh, that's all I think. Ready? A meeting of the, no, uh, that's fine. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, okay. A meeting of the Oregon Psychiatric Association is being held behind these closed doors. Three members of the Rajneesh Medical Association Corporation. Darn it. Okay. A meeting of the Oregon Medical Association is being medical. Okay. I'm sorry. This one will be good. A meeting of the Oregon Psychiatric Association is being held behind these closed doors. Three members of the Rajneesh Medical Corporation have been asked to attend that meeting. 
They're being asked if some of Oregon's psychiatrists can go to Rajneeshpuram to check on the well-being of the homeless people there. Exactly what's going on behind these closed doors, we really can't tell you because it's closed to the press. A meeting of the Oregon Psychiatric Association is being held behind these closed doors. Now, three members of the Rajneesh Medical Corporation have been asked to attend this meeting. They're being asked if it's okay that... Uh, I'm really sorry. Okay, ready? A meeting of the Oregon Psychiatric Association is being held behind these closed doors. Three members of the Rajneesh Medical Corporation are inside. They are being asked if it's okay that... Uh, It's been a while since I've done stand-ups, can you tell? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> a meeting of the Oregon Med Medical, do it again. <laughs> this is going to be great, I tell you. I'll get it yet. <clears throat> a meeting of the Oregon Psychiatric Association is being held behind these closed doors. Three members of the Rajneesh Medical Corporation are inside. They're being asked if it's okay. Uh, ready? <clears throat> A meeting of, right? <laughs> Thank you. A meeting of the Oregon... Uh, okay, ready. A meeting of the... Uh, let's do it again. <clears throat> A meeting of the Oregon Psychiatric Association is going on behind these closed doors. Three members of the Rajneesh Medical Corporation have been invited to attend this meeting. What's going on inside? That we really can't tell you. The meeting's closed to the press. Don't have to smile in this one, do I? Good. Okay. <clears throat> Ready? A meeting of the Oregon Psychiatric Association is being held behind these closed doors. Three members of the Rajneesh Medical Corporation have been invited to this meeting. What's going on inside? That we really can't tell you. The meeting has been closed to the press. Anybody ready? Anybody yet to come that anybody knows of? Okay. All along, Rajneeshis have shown good faith, and in good faith that we have never had any political desires in the state of Oregon nor is politics our lifestyle. Even though Rajneeshi's rights have exist, have, to exist have been violated, from the fundamental right to vote to the smallest discrimination that may prevail in this state, thousands of Americans living in Rajneesh Puram lost their right to vote because of an illegal and blatantly prejudiced voter registration rule. The conspiracy against our community and the illegal election which resulted should all be exposed in court and a lawsuit has been prepared to challenge the election. Rajneeshis have always desired to peacefully coexist. We've worked towards this end with the U.S. Justice Department Community Relations Service. And in this spirit of peace, we have decided not to file this lawsuit. Any questions, I'll be happy to answer. There are other non Rajneeshis who participated in the registration hearings, and there, uh, what I understand, there was no real complaint on their part. They, they were complying with the orders of the Secretary of State. Why was there? 
I don't understand your question. You have to talk to them. First, let me say one thing. There's nobody homeless at Rajneeshpuram. The people you described at ho as homeless now have homes. The second thing is, what I said then was true then. And what I say today is true today. Things change. Life changes. Life moves. You wouldn't be here if we were predictable. Life is unpredictable. Things change. That's how things are. What has changed? This situation today has changed. The situation over the period of time of the last month has changed. What needs to be done today, and the hundreds of people I talked to at that point, and the hundreds of people I've talked to since that point, have a different feeling. Their feeling now is that we need to coexist. We need to send a message to people, stop all this crap, enough of this bigotry, enough of this prejudice. It's time for people to accept the reality that we're here, that we're here to stay, and that's the way it's going to be. Simple as that. I'm talking about a lawsuit that was proposed to be filed to challenge the election, and I'm talking about that lawsuit only. What's going to happen in other legal cases, I can't say. Did you have some kind of negotiations with the Justice Department uh, community relations service? Did you negotiate with the uh, legal proposition? The community relations service of the United States Justice Department has been involved in our situation in Rajneesh Puram, near the city of Rajneesh, since it's near two years. They've been very helpful. They're people that understand the racial prejudice that's going on around this country, not just in the Northwest, but all over. They have been instrumental. They have, in their own way, tried to tell us what they feel needs to be done is to make peace in the situation. We're doing what we can to cooperate with that, notwithstanding all the prejudice, notwithstanding all the feelings we have that what's happened is blatant prejudice and nothing short of that. We'll see how far this can be taken. We're not people that turn the other cheek. We're not people that are going to be leaving anything, any stone left unturned to protect our rights. You said that <coughs> these people were not allowed to vote because of the illegal voter registration rule. Uh, that rule is considered to be legal by Wasco County and by the Secretary of State and by the Attorney General's office. Why do you call it an illegal rule when it's never been proven to be illegal? Just because the Attorney General, just because the Secretary of State considers something to be legal, why should that, that affect my feeling of what's illegal? I don't believe it's legal. I never believe it's legal. It's not the American way, number one, to pay thirty-five dollars to $40,000 for a group of people to have to travel 200 miles round trip to be able to vote. Number two, it's not the American way to conspire when 2,000 people extra register to vote in a county in the 40 days prior to when 13 Rajneeshis and people from the Rajneesh community walk in and then, right on the spot, change the ground rules. That kind of conspiracy is not what I call legal. At the top of your statement, you said that Rajneeshis operate in good faith and try to go along. And not try to, have. Okay, have. I think you said. And uh, that the, the homeless or the people that you recruited to the Rajneesh. Yet, for this past Thanksgiving, there were 17 more people, I understand, left the ranch uh, for one reason or another. I, I'm wondering. Do you still feel no obligation to these people who were brought in and, um, uh, and now are homeless again? As far as I'm concerned, people are free. You would be all down at Rajneesh Puram in a minute if we were saying to you that we were going to keep people prisoner that wanted to leave. If people want to leave, that's their part of that program. Number two, I'm not personally part of that program. And number three, when I see what's been done by the Rajneesh Humanity Trust for all those people, I can say they've had a gift. I can...
It's been positive, it's been constructive, and they're better off than they were before they came. That's what I see. I see a miracle happening. Now they see this as an olive branch extended to them, and if, for them to now be more cooperative toward you, to, to return that, that spirit that you outlined in your statement here. We're not politicians. I don't expect them even to see something that's right in front of their very eyes, let alone what you would see as a subtle olive branch. They don't have the eyes to see anything subtle. They're not intelligent people. So why did you do this? I said very clearly why I did this. Why I represented the people there. That the, the challenge to the voter registration process has continued. The legal challenge that has already been filed to the voter registration process. I understand that there's some people that were denied their right to register to vote. I think two people that said they, because their spouses lived elsewhere, that is up to them to do what they want to do. A lawsuit that was filed, I think, in the Ninth Circuit. Who was involved in this case on the court level? These are individuals. Individuals I spoke to, individuals that felt they had their right to vote taken away, individuals that said they couldn't make that trip to Wasco County. I spoke to them, the numbers I spoke to, said it's time for a change. It's time to look at this thing in a different way. And they asked me to be their spokesman here today. I'm not speaking as mayor, I'm speaking as an individual, a citizen of Rajneesh Puram, a citizen of the United States of America. I spoke with people individually, sometimes in small groups, sometimes on the street, sometimes at dinner, sometimes at breakfast, all over. And there was a consensus within the uh, people you talked to? Generally, yes. How many people do you suppose you talked to? Probably 500 to 700.
So that's a long life of religious history. And he was born in Russia, in fact in Siberia, <laughs> managed with his family to survive the Russian Revolution, emigrate out of there. And he ended up being a minister, and taught in Bible colleges, had his Master's of Theology degree, Master of Religious Science. He was officially ordained when he was 25 years old. And all of the time that he was a minister, his whole interest was in being honest to himself and being honest to people. So when he felt that being a traditional minister was no longer honest, real, he started looking around for something that was honest and that was real. And guess where he landed up? <laughs> he felt that he needed to go find out for himself what was happening near Bhagwan, who he was. And he came to Puna. He was a minister of the church in California, the church of religious science. So here's the minister. So he has come here to be near his master's feet in his last moments for his final send-off. And he has died enlightened. <laughs>